Welcome back, Reapers and Reavers. Okay, the war is over. We won. Yeah. Steiner won, and they rewarded us with a beautiful crate of absolutely crap. I, I kid you not. There was like five items in there, and I think the best thing in there was a large rifle inner sphere. So, um, we're done. <laughs> but in the five missions that we partook, we took home a night gear right there and a blood asp. Look at that thing. It is just nasty looking. Big, mean monster. <laughs> but here's the thing. We need good weaponry to put in there. We do. Because really the only thing we can put in are some AC5s and an AC2. Now, these are UAC5s, yes. So we're looking at 270, 320 damage at a very long range. We were able to put a mask and a tank airdrop beacon, rangefinder, advanced targeting, guardian ECM, plenty of ammo, and an AMS. The thing is, is when you strip everything out of this thing, I'm just going to show you here. You have 40 tons to play with. That's what I love about Blood Asps. They are just gorgeous killing machines. No jump jets, but it's still a beautiful 90 ton assault mech. An Omni mech assault mech. So much better than the Executioner, which maybe has a little over half of that tonnage when you strip it out. Now, the Blood Asp does lack on certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 360 engine, which is still better than the Night Gear, but not quite as good as the Executioner. But really, pound for pound, Night Gears and Blood Asps are better than Executioners. Sorry. Okay, so we no longer need our Timberwolf here. We are going to put it into cold storage. We have our team. So we got three missile boats, seven, 175 tonner, 295 tonners. We've got our ever fateful Viper Scout. We have a Blood Asp with triple UAC-5 and a single UAC-2. And three Night Gears with Hyper Assault Gauss Rifles and UAC-2 triples. We're ready to wreck stuff. Let's go. Now, the war is over. Pilots have been updated. There's nothing in the store we really need. If we take a look at where we are. Steiner took the planet. We have access to the store and pilots. We're on Antares. It is a three skull planet. There's a whole bunch of conflicts happening here. But they're all clan versus clan or lower scale one skull three skull clan on clan clan on clan clan on clan i don't know why they're fighting each against each other they're warlike i guess apparently there is one three and a half skull war going on all the way down for the draconis combine against clan ghost bear and we're not quite loathed yet. So we might go there later. Here's the thing. It starts in 35 days. It takes 31 days to get there. It takes absolutely no days to do the missions that are here. And while we're traveling that 31 days, all of our much loathed enemies, Clan Wolf, Clan Jade Falcon, all those guys are probably going to try to hit us with kill teams. I don't want to waste a video on that. Do you want me to waste a video on that? I don't want to waste a video on that. We're at video number 34. So that 34, 35, 36, and then we are done. We're just playing for fun after that. We were aiming for end game content. Four and a half to five skull. Four to five skull. Let's do four to five skull. Four Steiner. Right here. We've got a battle in the desert for salvage and an insurrection interception, three salvage. 
Now you know there's going to be some awesome, awesome loot here. And we don't gain any more rep against, or any negative rep against Jade Falcon. And these are all local governments. They're pretty easy to beat. We're not going to get Hyper Assault Goss Rifles, though. Not out of that. And I don't want to go up against Valerians, right? Steiner, when we're trying to build a reputation with them. So, let's do one of these and see how fast we can blow through them. Maybe we can do two in one. Let's go smack around the local government. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Okay, so, four. You never know. They might have some Hyper Assault Gauss Rifles, which is exactly what we I would want. I would want to put that in our Blood Asp. Let's not waste any more time jibber-jabbering. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have to do a new loadout now. Clear. Okay, so we have our two missile boats down here. This is now our primary, oh no, this is our tertiary hitter. This one, which one's the one with the AC-20 right there? You go here, and these are our two heavy hitters. And you go here, and you go here. And we are going to bring two ballistas. And let's make it four ballistas. At this point, the Unsvin are really vulnerable against what we're going to be facing against. They are known to be lightly armored, right? It is moderately well armored, ensuring the BA can reach their destination in good time. Maybe, 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 maybe. I do like the fact that I can shoot the battle armor every turn. That is a huge advantage. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put our tank pilots down here. Bam. Red Trekkie, still alive. <laughs> That's impressive, really, when you think about it. And where is uh, their stencil? So 1010, most of our pilots have 10 gunnery by now. Uh, we have some 1010, 1010 pilots. There are 10 across the board. 1097, okay. Um, battle armor. You don't go there. <laughs> battle armor. I can't remember. Is it, is it the phalanx? Yes, the phalanx. Because the grenadier. You've got the ravager, and he's got the grenadier, if I recall. Coach, no. Got the grenadier again. Ah, McGrath, who is injured. So another reason why they bring the Unsvin. Okay, let's. Um, you get the Timberwolf. We've got another ten across the board right here in Zenith. Our scout is a master scout. Now, how are we going to play this out? Night cheer. Definitely. Same thing here. Um, 10 to 9, 10 to 8. Scorch. Here. Wildfire. Here. Weasel Cakes. Gets the Blood Asp. Because he was in the Timberwolf because, oh, what happened here? Scorch didn't go in there. There you go. Um, he's getting comfortable with that night gear. And we are going to save this. Booyah. There you go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Saved and deployed. And you guys don't need to see this load up screen. Right, right. Pause. Plus, I need to go get a coffee. 
All right, we are ready to drop in our scouts of observed local government military units uh, covertly surveying military intrusion industrial targets. So we're going to smack them around, basically. We're trying to eliminate a scouting group. A four skull scout group. What does that look like when it's in her sphere uh, local government? Oh, we got contact. Hmm. Doesn't tell us what the wind speed or direction is. Okay, so where are these guys? We have contact. Somewhere. Oh, they're up there. Okay. Well, Wait, let's load up. Why am I in a cockpit? Is this smart? Yes, it is. Why? One, you're a clone. Two, you asked for this. And three, you deserve this. <laughs> Arm up. Why am I in a cockpit? Is this smart? Mm, I don't think anybody's going to get close to them. Or close to this particular unit. Nope, nope. Okay. Um, I think we can get into this unit's fin. Nope, we're going to grab the one in the front. Standing by. Nope. Not what I clicked on. Aye, aye. One in the back, so the one in front's gonna have to back up. What's my grappling range oh, on this? Pretty small, I presume. Me. I can grab. So if I can come around the range of these two guys, I can probably jump on. Okay. Reserve. Waiting for my opportune moment. Like such. Maybe. Surely you can grapple onto that, can you? Orago? Yes, she can. Why? Because she's an awesome clanner. Okay. Oops, wrong button. All right. Let's see if we can't god them into coming at us. God, goad, whatever. Entice them. I don't think we're going to see them anytime soon. So we might as well just, you know, reserve all the way down. So there's a scout lance and a local government support lance. And there's a 60 ton vehicle coming. I like it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the enemy's turn. They're probably concentrated down here and up here. Looks like the wind is blowing this way. From right to left. That's what the graphics looks like, but doesn't mean that's what the mechanics is doing. Ah, somebody's putting down some um, landmines, I think. Or at least trying to put down some landmines.
Ja. I think the best course of action is the usual course of action. I think get a bead on these guys. What do we see and what can we scan? So I've got a medium rifle carrier, a 60 ton mech, and a partridge in a pear tree, clearly. So let's sensor lock these guys. A rifleman. I haven't seen one of those since the start of my career. Yeah, I don't think we'll be getting any clan weaponry here. But that's okay. We're still going to have tons of fun. Oh, I can shoot. Yes, please. Rocket Launcher 10, so that's going to be a one-shot deal. But one, two, three, four, five medium rifles mounted onto a tank. That's a fair amount of damage. But artillery is going to do what artillery is going to do best, and we are going to hit the mechs. It's got a 63. Mm hmm. Me likey. And these are kind of easy, easier missions that we can do that are fortify skull. I mean, we're we're safe at the advantage of having Omnimex, and they're, you know. Inner sphere. <laughs> Awaiting orders. Yes, I am kind of bad, uh, bad mouthing them a little. We got 43 and we got 63. So I think that this needs to go. Toot sweet. Let's go, Scorch. Why is Scorch shooting at 33? I'm not sure. We didn't sprint. Executioner does have arms. I don't know. I'm here. Affirmative. That is bizarre. My percentages are all over the place. And you would think, since they all have 10 gunnery, they all have the same equipment. Here goes the tank. Let's push, push, push. Come on. Drive it home, kiddos. Anything else we can scan up there? Negative.
blood asp is moving fast, but we also put a mask in it, so makes a difference. And reserve. So these are four mech lances, obviously. We're probably going to see some atlases or other inner sphere assault mechs here. He is running away. Still not going to help you. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is one of them a three lance? We've got a 95 tonner, we got a 50 tonner, we've got a 50 tonner. 100 ton, that's probably a Mars right there, and that's the one we want to sensor lock, ladies and gents. We're not going to be dropping the Matahari this turn. We will drop it the next turn. That is a behemoth with additional armor. AC-10s, SRM-6, LRM-10s. Okay. Still a good artillery ballista strike target. And we've got good numbers on it, too. It's got no pips. Surprise. Ooh, that is really heavily armored, isn't it? Eee. It's okay. It's been a while before any of these guys make it up here. Oh, 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 oh. just a little bit just in case we need to shoot those guys in the back if they run away our artillery is our way of you know dealing with them good shot commando hmm hmm me likey okay Target. 84. I'll take it. Some pretty good hits. So two 50 tonners, a 60 tonner, a 95, a 100, and a 60. And I'm not seeing that last one. There's got to be two four lances in here. Must be. I wonder if they're coming up this way. Maybe we don't see them. Well, we'll see. I mean. Oh, man. You got me. These guys are not going to be able to shoot, so let's run up. I should have used a sensor lock on them. I want to see what that 95 tonner is. Oh, shooting my saws blindly. Trying to ignite something or... Just shooting at the ground, I guess. Roger, 
Wrong mech. 95 tonner. Because he's coming up the road towards us. I want to see what it is. It's a Corsair. It's a pirate mech. AC-10, large lasers, medium lasers. Ooh. Bring it. Come at me, bro. Oh, did I see a 90-tonner back there? Nope, 80. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the one we took out. So there you go. Those are the two lances. Get up here. Let's see what that 50 tonner is. Enforcer. Why is he backing? A small laser right now. <laughs> but a bump. Uh, we can probably start hitting the Corsair with the missiles. He's coming down this way. Okay. Might be able to take out the rest of uh, what was it? A rifleman? Yeah. Hot diggity dog. Let's go. Hit him in the back. Actuator destroyed. It did hit something good. Ninety nine or ninety two? I'm going for the ninety nine. damage. Nothing to write home about, but these guys are a lot tougher than I thought. Should have moved Yunsvin up. Let's do that. Enemy turn. Who's going to move? Move them up as far as I can. Sensor lock. I mean, we can't fire, so. Hmm. That's not what I clicked on at all. Uh, not quite far enough to sensor lock anyone. That's okay. Let's give Wait, everybody why am I in a, cockpit? Is this smart? a little bit of target prediction. Doesn't cost a firing action if anybody comes up the hill and miraculously gets within the range of our battle armors. And deploy the drone. A little bit of diversion. Look over there. We're actually over here. So that's a Rhino with LRMs. And a Behemoth 
I'm more worried about these two than anything else. A PO heavy tank. Hmm. Enforcer two. So an enforcer and an enforcer two with an inert Gauss rifle and double AC5s on the rifleman. Okay. We are going to wait. Why am I reserve. in the cockpit? Is this smart? And we are definitely going to hit the behemoth again. I'm picking up a new sensor oh, Looks like oh enemy Wolverine. Wolverines! If you don't know what from, from what movie that is, then you need to go back and look at both. And the first one's way better. Way better. Yes. What's my normal two hit chance on him? No, we might as well use it. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of damage. <laughs> yeah. what can I do with you? 96 smack keeps smacking the behemoth but he just keeps looking at us and saying hit harder reserve now we need our missile boats. That's right. Keep shooting at the Matahari. Look over here while I'm doing this. So we've got three lances now. 12 max. I, I like it. What is he packing? Thunderbolt 10s. Okay, well, we know where our infantry is going to be shooting at, right? Um, reserve. Let's just go everybody at the same time. Everything all at once. But let's go before the Matahari decides to do something stupid like not move. <laughs> okay. Um, there's nothing that we can see here, per se. So let's start moving our guys like this. And take care of them systematically. Where is... ah? Our rifleman is right there. And you know what? I think we could use some precision fire on this one. Agreed. That's not who I'm targeting. Rifleman. are good hits. Very good hits. I want to keep an eye out down here and yeah okay. Ooh. 
who do I want to hit? Um, got 92s, 99s. We definitely want to hit the Corsair. I will give the Corsair one thing. It is taking damage like a boss. This guy's wobbling around. <laughs> Looks like a first year college university student at his first pub crawl. Not worth Uh, let's hit the Corsair again. Let's see if we can punch up those fingers. He's doing pretty good, actually. I'm I'm impressed. view of the battlefield here. You're not going to hit him this turn. Okay. Let's take the Blood Asp and see what kind of damage we can do to this Wolverine. Our numbers aren't that great because he has a lot of pips, but I still want to see. Those are still pretty good hits. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to shoot my guy in the back either, so. He doesn't have any weapon that we want, so. And he's down. There you go. Whatever's coming from over there is not going to last very long. Let's reserve. Pretty sure something's going to come up that ridge over here. He was just the first one to make it to us, that's all. Now the Matahari is going to move and lose all of its pips. Yep. It should be an innate... AI configuration that the Matahari moves at its maximum range each time. Or else this happens. Everybody focuses fire on it and it has foregone all of its advantages. So let's try to goad them into moving here. Because 
because we know that there's going to be more coming from this area where the Wolverine came from. That behemoth. Immune to sensor locks. Okay. <clears throat> Who else? Are we done? Wait. I guess Why so. Am I in a cockpit? Is this smart? Well, let's um See if we can't scan anything down there. Nothing? No? Is there nothing? I guess not. All right. Time to finish this soon. Have at me. Matahari, you gotta move, and you gotta move fast and far. You've got no defense right now. They're gonna tear you apart. Oh my god, really? Keep focusing on that Enforcer 3, but it's not worth it. Get yourself some more pips. No pips whatsoever. Look at that. And that's what happens. I mean, you can't expect a recon to stay put and fire. That's not their behavior. Okay, we are just going to hold. Because they're going to take out the Matahari anyway, so... We'll drop another one. Should we bother with a strafing run? No, that's just wasted money. Hold. I'll stay right here, Commander. I'll stay right here, Commander. See if we can distract them by hitting the behemoth again. That's a good hit. Mm hmm. Let's see if Red Tricky come repeat. Sides open. Just reserve. Ah. Waiting for the drop. Hmm. 
Wow. Long moments of silence while the AI makes a decision. What? Did he not shoot at the Matahari? What is going on here? Let's reserve. So we need the missile boats to do their thing. And we might as well let just let everybody move. And reserve all the way down to two. Um, an initiative reserve slide bar would be really cool in this game. Where you get a mech and you get to slide them up or down on a reserve bar. Where you want their initiative. Miss. How could you miss? It doesn't even have any... What the... I'm confused. Somebody else going to take a run at it? Oh, going after this. <laughs> You're going after the Viper. Interesting. Very interesting. And he punches out. <laughs> that was interesting okay here's what we need to do um Awaiting orders. we need this gone we need to start taking care of those tanks and we're heating up Hopefully this will take care of it. I could have done split fire. That was a little bit overkill, but you know what? It's gone. Guns off the board. There they are. Very, very far away. We need to get up there. Like, right now. It's a 90 tonner. What is it? It's a Highlander. What's it packing? LBX AC20 streaks your M okay What's up, let's bring the blood asp up here scare them a little bit. Who's got pips? You got pips? You got one. You've got you've got two pips? Not anymore. I'm going to send my three night jeers up there. Detecting anything else. Let's get maximum efficiency out of this. Got six pips of evasion. Get him out of the way. 1579. Let's shoot him where it is. Nothing? Little damage? Well, that's disappointing. 
All right, let's move the Unsin as fast as we can here. And done. A bay right here, Commander. Commander. He's got to go. I'm receiving you. Let's get up there. Double time. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. down and then some. Oh my god. Tore him apart. Hmm. We're hot. I think we should be using this. And let's start hitting him? Do we have anybody that's a better target than 50%? 43 and 50. We got a 79 on the Enforcer. We got a 79 on the Enforcer 3. We got a 92 on the PO tank. It's already damaged. And an 88. Yeah, we're going to go for the PO tank. there he's opened up on the side <sighs> celebratory sip of coffee see anybody else coming up from up there I don't know now you've already done your so make Wraith turn doing pretty good we got 50 and 50 half of the first lance is done took out a quarter of the other lance five out of 12 we're almost halfway there that highlander is going to be half oh. matahari what are you doing Well, that Enforcer 3 does have the move ahead. He's going to shoot. Whoa, we've got something else over there. What are we looking at? It's got an initiative of 3, so it can't be a heavy. 55 tonner. Okay. Can't really do much right now. So let's reserve and see what else pops out of that hole. Excellent. She's going for the Matahari. That's what I was hoping for. 
So the Viper has six pips of evasion, but I would rather he not get shot. Know what I mean? Okay. Can the Unsvin get in range enough to sensor scan? Yes. Yes, they can. What about the other Unsvin? Phantom? Can you, um... He's got no pips. Okay, so let's save it then. Um... Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. What do I want to hit? Do I want to hit an 84? Or a 50? I think I want to go with the 84. So we can focus the missiles on the actual mechs. Gone. That was a good shot. That was excellent. That's a 69. I'll take it. Actually, a 74. And that smacked both of them for some decent damage. Okay. Five pips, and I get to shoot him in the back. How could I possibly say no to that? Five evasion and a shot in the back. Um, 79, 80. He's got 48 there and 80 there. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for the 48. We got a hit, and his side's gone, and he's gone. <laughs> Good shot, Zenith. That deserve a good hard swig of coffee. Mm, that was a really good shot. Let's reserve. We now have half of their forces destroyed. Well, over half. There is one more mech over there. And if it hasn't moved yet, that's because it's probably a heavy or assault. And I would love to see an assault with some hyper assault Gauss rifles or something useful. But I mean, worst case scenario, we'll grab what we can and sell it. There goes the Matahari. We've basically lost eyes on the guys on the inside, but that's okay. That's okay. Oop. Reserve. All the way down. I want to see what that Highlander does. coming I don't think you can see us just yet I'll stay right here commander okay let's get some eyes on the prize here This will hurt. Hurt you more than it'll hurt me. Oh. 
and he's effectively disarmed. I think he's got a medium laser left. A medium pulse. One spot where I can land, and I'll take it. So I can't make it up there. Is that what you're saying? Nope, no, no, I want this. I should have used it next turn. We're done. Uh, blood ass is not getting a lot of <laughs> a lot of work. That's okay. Let's see if we can't take care of this guy down here. Can we target Bo? We should technically be able to get both in our line of sight. Ah, oh, they're right on the verge of each other. Okay. Well, that's okay. I was really hoping that the blood ass would be able to take care of that rhino tank, but nope. Derpy, derpy, derp, derp, derp. Oopsies. Wrecked him. Okay, you need to cool off a little bit, don't you? No, you're not. No, you don't. So, who do we smack? I think the Rhino. We'll let the like. We'll let the Nightjars take care of the guys that are on the top. We'll have our missile boats take care. Cool off. Of the tank. Vent. And fire. That is one tough rhino. I'll give him that. Let's get that Unsvin up. And close. Can it spot anything? Can't scan anything, so we will hold. Ninety nine on our target. Let's take it. Stone cold, please. Still got ninety nine.
and we're done. Okay. We're set. We're good. We're golden. We're cooling off. Haha. -ha. That stone cold is so amazing. Oh man. You got me. I don't think any of these guys can fire. Didn't think so. All right. We are done. We're just over an hour here into this game and I don't think we're going to do two in a row obviously so let's punch through here break on through to the other side my friends let them move come into range and we'll see what they got and we'll take it away from them it's that simple he's running Oh, he's hiding. It's not going to help him. And unfortunately, our blood asp is all the way back there. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Okay. We need our scout. Where are you? Scouting range, not far enough, reserve, yep, we're going to do that. There's not much left of that Highlander anyways. It's a lot more than I thought. Wow. He's still standing. Like a true Highlander. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get back over here. Oh, 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 oh. I want to use precision strike. That one medium pulse. You never know. <laughs> oh, we got some internal damage. Yunsvin can actually get into range here. So let's do that. We are looking at a Lynx. It is an Omnimech, if I recall. No, it's not. It's the Inner Sphere equivalent. So let's shoot here. He's got a lot of damage on the core. The other Unsvin should be able to take care of this. What are your orders, Skipper? Aye, aye, Skipper. Full speed. No target. Let's take him. That is one tough Highlander. I'll give them that. These guys are impressive. Wait, why am I in a cockpit? Is this smart? Not good enough. And that's why he's not good enough. Enemy down. Enemy down. And we're just going to be looking at salvage for this run, obviously. 
I don't think the other guys can actually reach him. I mean, we can see, but we can't reach, right? Okay. Let's see if we can get him to move closer. There is still a mech out there. There it is. It's a 70 tonner. Why is it hiding? Is it that it can't get up here or what? Okay, it's coming. Okay. Um, what can we do with the blood asp? Careful maneuver our way up. It's about the extent of it, huh? Can't even center lock. Wow. Okay. Night cheers. Can I get the high ground on him? Negative. What about this night gear? Negative. Okay. Well, we'll just move up forward in a firing line and do as much damage as we can. He's running pretty hot. So let's give him a couple of headshots. And I think, yep, we killed him. Engine destroyed, three salvage parts. Wow. That was nasty. Well, um, let's rush on over here and scan our new friend. Our new frenemy. We are looking at a guillotine. Nothing interesting on it. So let's uh, mess it up a bit. Give it some minuses. Sensors impaired. And missiles away. Hey, hey. Go for it, Scorch. Let's rush on over and introduce ourselves. Missiles away. Some pretty good damage. Waiting 
for my opportune moment. Scan them, yes, I can. Guillotine scanned, and we're not gonna we're not gonna risk anything here. We're just gonna smack them around a bit. Probably would be. We're going to hit him with the two ballistas and then the Unsvin and the battle armor and it'll be over. If he doesn't die on this shot. Pilot injured. He's stressed. <laughs> That's funny. Can we get the Unsvin in there? To get a shot? Yes, we can. Got a shot in the head. And took out an arm or a leg or something. And he panicked. Punched out. Okay, so it's going to be a salvage run. It's that simple. Uh, yes, we are done. You Mission can pick us up. Uh, a lot less sound degradation on this one, you'll note. And it's the same biome we've been playing for six, seven missions now. So, um,. When we get bio, when we get the sound degradation in desert environments, it's often where there are a lot of enemy assets. Hey, we're still in the black for the payout. I'm impressed. The amount of artillery we shot. And over the 3,000 marker. So what are we going to take? Uh, we should take the Highlander piece. And whoa, ah, there's the Corsair. We'll take Corsair piece, and we got two pieces of the a seventy tonner that we can take. So let's do that. Guillotine and guillotine. There's nothing in here really that I would want. Nothing. Nope. Nothing here that I would say, oh my god, I have to have that. And we're probably going to sell most of this, actually. Yep. 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 We'll keep two ammo bins. And that's that. Well, Reapers and Reavers, ladies and gents, thanks for watching. Thanks for... Uh, listening to my ramblings we are closing up this is uh mission number 34 we got two more missions and i'm really thinking that um we're going to do those two missions and then it's going to go back to the fun run and we are going to zoom down to that uh the dragon the kuritan ghost bear war i think that's that's going to be how we're going to wrap that up and it'll be a new playlist and it'll just be it'll probably be named uh fun times in the clans in the clan zones take care of yourselves take care of each other reapers and reavers always look out for a little bit more peace